I'm Dan. Hi, I'm Lisa. And we're here to show you this really cool watershed model. This model is a representation of the Bay Area. And we're gonna use it throughout this activity. But first, let's make some observations. What do you see? So maybe you and I have made some of the same observations. I see a farm over here. I see the ranch, a school bus driving on a road. I see a park. And this looks like a dump, maybe a recycling center. And I see lots of people hanging out at the park. Nico, how about you? What do you see? I see the park. I see roads. I see people. I see cars. And I see mountains with water going to the bay or the ocean. Yeah, that's a really important observation. So just like the activity Watershed in Your Hands, we see the rainwater or snow melt coming from the top of the mountains and flowing down in streams or rivers all the way down into the bay. The next question I have for you is, where on this watershed model do you think trash or pollution might exist? Nico, where do you think some trash or pollution might exist? Ooh, maybe up here? I'm just gonna paint on where some trash or pollution might be. Over here. I think maybe this farm might be using pesticides and herbicides. So maybe there's something over there. Anywhere else? Any place else? Maybe? Ooh, yeah. Over here. I think even on the roads from the cars. All right, so now I am gonna make it rain on this watershed. But first, let's make a prediction about what you think is gonna happen when it rains. Let's take a second to make a predic prediction. Nico, do you have any thoughts? Yes. I think that when it rains down, all of the pollution areas you just marked are going to um, wash into the bay. Cool. That is a really great prediction. Let's see what happens. some of your observations. So just like Nico predicted, the waste that we marked up on this watershed ended up bleeding down into the stream. 
And where does the stream lead to? The bay. So when it rains in this bay area, it's really easy for pollution and trash and other waste to get into our streams. So on this road, I'm not sure if you've noticed these boxes here. What do you think those boxes are? Nico, do you have any ideas? I think they're storm drains. Yeah, these things here represent storm drains. And we actually have a really cool tool to show you how they work. If I stick this water bottle in here, we can see where the water comes out. This storm drain leads to this pipe that empties out into this stream here. If we move over here, we can see that this storm drain leads to this pipe that empties out next to the farm and flows underground as an aquifer and comes out over on this side and empties out into the bay. There's one more, Nico, do you want to try it? And this one empty out into the bay. Yeah. So we can see that when there's waste or pollutions on the street, it's really easy for that waste to go and down into the storm drains and empty out into streams or aquifers, or even right out into the bay. So now that we know what happens when it rains on our watershed, let's talk about how we use water in our homes. Nico, what are some ways that we use water in our homes? Um, washing our hands and um, going to the bathroom yeah we wash our hands we use the bathroom we do dishes we use the washing hose machines. and the washing machine that's a really big one so let's let's see what happens with the water that we use in our homes I don't know if you can see but this here represents a water treatment plant where some of the water gets filtered and treated. And some of that water gets emptied out back into the bay. Some of the water also can get recycled and used for things like sprinklers in a park. But a treatment center can't filter out everything, so it's really important that we try to keep the water that we use in our homes as clean as possible also. Cool, that was really fun. Thanks, Nico, for joining us in this watershed model demonstration. What are some things that you learned? I learned that um, half of the water that you use in your home goes out back, oh, first goes to the water treatment plant, then some goes back out, and some they use for parks. Yeah, so we know that the water in our homes Part of it goes to a plant, or all of it goes to a plant and some of it is dumped back into the bay, but some of it can be recycled and used at parks, for example. Well, in my own demonstration, I thought a lot about community and how I see a lot of community in this watershed model. We see a lot of homes and a school bus and all the observations that we made before, and then I see a lot of wildlife too, which is a whole nother community that we need to consider to coexist. But in order
for all of us to live happily and healthily, we need to keep our watershed really clean. And in this model, we learned how pollution and waste and trash can get into some of the streams and into the bay and really harmfully impact our watershed that we need. So it's really important that we try our best to stay healthy and keep our watershed clean.